So Joey, yeah. what is your thoughts now that you after hearing the information? Okay, uh, so I feel very itchy. <laughs> How about you, Kylie? How do you feel? I'm scared of big bugs. <laughs> oh dear. I'm scared of bugs and cockroaches. Uh, we are walking down the hallway. I was thinking um, this should be quite an easy job yeah, because uh, and it shouldn't take more than a few hours yeah, because it's a small unit. Uh, yeah. Then uh, we, when we reached the house, uh, yeah, we, all of us were like, When we saw the bed bugs, it was a horrifying sight at first, and it took us some time to get over the shock of how bad living conditions were. But after a while, I realized that the bed bugs were actually a good thing rather than bad, because after the whole cleaning process, there would be a noticeable difference in how his house looked because of our efforts. It was after lunch when we had our first black swan realization. In Singapore, we tend to think that money is the best way to do charity, and we are generally a generous people. But when we were sorting out his stuff, decluttering his flat to reduce breeding spots for big bugs, we realized that he had a lot of food and one year's supply of toiletries given to him by various charities. 
But what he needed was not more mist noodles or shampoo, but someone to spend time and effort cleaning out his flat. From front project, I realized that what they needed most was companionship and someone to take care of their hygiene. Because most of them are alone figures and have no physical strength to have a child. So if someone is sincere and care for them, then I would recommend him or her to do the same instead of just merely giving donations. So what are you going to do with all this stuff? Bring home. <laughs> Was it very hard convincing you to throw them away? Nah, no, I put a trolley. I love wheels. Woohoo! This is Ryan having fun. Initially, when Ryan told us that each of us uh, will have to pay $20 for the voluntary work, we found it quite ridiculous as uh, we don't understand why we have to pay the money when we are actually offering our services. However, um, we ended up contributing more money and time to this project. This is because we found it um, really heartwarming and comforting when the uncle came to us. And we felt a sense of accomplishment and we were glad to be able to bring happiness to the uncle's life. It helped me realize that meaning behind what you are doing is really what keeps you motivated to continue performing your job well. Although money can be used as a form of reward, but its effects is really short term. That's why we see more and more companies giving paid volunteerism instead of high paid managers to attract talent to their company. To summarize, our black swan has made us realize that the problem solving must address the root of the problem and not the symptoms. As managers, we must investigate the source of the issue sufficiently before we implement the solutions. As we do not want to just put a band aid on the problem, we should only reoccur in the future. In our case, we did not just flip up the house, but we eliminated the bleeding spots of the bed bugs within another outbreak. As we experienced firsthand, money or in this case, grades were not the only motivating factor for us going beyond the core of duty. Companies have to realize that money is not enough to push one to work hard, as employees must be aligned with the company's mission. Paid volunteerism is a superb example of companies attempting to woo the brightest talents with more than just financial rewards. I feel uh, nervous because I am the only international student in my group and I don't know whether I can do it well with my groupmate. But soon I realized that um, my groupmate is very fun and friendly and that encouraged me a lot. Although I still not totally adapted with, new, with every new thing here and sometimes I was so quiet but I do enjoy the time when we work together when doing this project.